Hello Zaniacs, I am Lainey. I am Marshall. And today we are going to talk about a book called The Sunday Girl by Pip Drysdale. This book is a thriller book. I did get it for review from NetGalley and I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, it has been a couple weeks since I read this book and uh, I <laughs> kind of forgot what it was about. I had to go back and read some of the summaries to, to remember really what it was about. But I mean, to be honest, I've read like four thriller books since then. So that's probably why I can't remember. Anyway, so it's about this girl who basically her boyfriend releases a, a sex tape of them online. And she, he had, he had like basically had a fight with her about this other girl and then like left left town they went on they were supposed to go on holiday but because they broke up he left by himself so she's ticked off and goes to his apartment and uh tries to basically do some like little piddly things around his house to like make him crazy like he tries to start a leak under his sink so you know things that are like slightly harmful but not harmful. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about. Okay. She's she pranking him. She's pranking him. <clears throat> yes. So then she comes to find out that he actually has gone away with his ex-girlfriend. And then more and more things start happening to her that are just heinous. Like she ends up losing her job, I think. And there's just all these things that you're like, who is doing this to her? Like this is, this is really crazy and then he comes back and he tries to explain that he was drunk when the sex tape went up and he didn't really mean it to happen etc so they get back together and then <laughs> and then things start going really wrong <laughs> like really wrong and that is all I can say about that book uh, it was very twisty but I totally saw the twists coming I, I kind of figured out the ending as well and I thought that there were some things that just didn't like that were brought up to kind of lead you astray but like were never really explained about why they were brought up that we were like it was kind of a major plot point that didn't get brought up um so I don't know I, I gave it three stars I'm probably not doing it justice very much, honestly. The book itself was a really interesting read. Like, I went all the way through it and I was like, oh, this is interesting. But then I think after the fact, after sitting on it for a while, I kind of went, I don't know, it wasn't really as good as it could have been. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Thoughts? Mm -mm. No. No. <laughs> not his kind of book. Not really, no. <clears throat> no. <laughs> Um, but I, again, if you are a really huge thriller reader, this might be a good one for you to pick up anyway, just so that you can see what the general premise is of it. Uh, even though, like, you may have some holes or whatever, I'm trying to pick it up anyway. Maybe. So, thank you so much for watching. I will leave all the information down below. And until next time, stay zany. Bye bye.